All right, we are back. It's been a while uh, since the last tutorial. I uh, wanted to pop in today to do a quick one about something uh, new available to custom mappers, and that is the ability to create and display your own server uh, browser preview image, which you can see here on the left. Uh, all, most of the vanilla maps have, uh, have one. Uh, usually if you don't set one for your custom map you're gonna get something like this so this is like the default image so uh, recently they added a feature to um, be able to set it yourself and upload it with uh, the map to the workshop through the SDK front end so I'm just gonna it's gonna be a short one I'll cover it real quick alright the first thing you're going to want to do is take a uh, photo or a picture in in game of your map uh, you know, maybe a little scene that kind of represents the, the uh, feeling of the map or something to identify it. Um, I picked this one to go with, and then I'll show you here. We'll just have to edit it because it's a very narrow window that you probably saw in the, uh, in the example I just had. Um, but open it up Photoshop, whatever you need to do. The uh, dimensions of the image, 256 by 512. Uh, so once you trim the image down, make sure it fits those, whoops, make sure it fits those... Uh, dimensions or obviously you know it's going to reject it when you try to import it into the SDK um, once you've got that you're going to save it as a TGA Targa file uh, which this one is uh, I've already got it on here as a Targa but uh, you can name it whatever you want it doesn't matter but you're going to save it as a Targa uh, you only need to do it as the 24-bit we don't have any alpha maps to worry about um, once you've got that saved, we'll flip over to the SDK and we'll show you how to import. All right, once we have the SDK opened up, um, we're at our map, we are going to import the server brow browser preview image. Uh, a little catch here, though, we're not going to, if you watch some of the other tutorials, I usually tell you to import it to the maps package. We aren't going to do that. This uh, image has to be in a in, in a package it doesn't necessarily need to be its own package um, with this pool map I actually have a separate package with a bunch of stuff in it that the pool map uses you can upload uh, the package the UPK as it's called um, to the SDK front end you've been able to do that for a while but the image needs to be saved in a separate package from the map so if you don't have a separate package for your map you just make one you throw the image in it and that's all that's in it no big deal it'll be a real small package so um, I've already got mine imported but I'll just demonstrate real quick and if anyone's a little rusty about it um, you just find the uh, image that you um, made we just did in uh, the Targa image we just made in Photoshop we'll go ahead and import it um, and like I said you don't want to save it to the maps package so you can name it whatever you want my particular one is called pool props so name it whatever you want um, and you can give it a group if you want to you don't have to uh, down here a couple things you need to remember texture group is UI mip map settings no mip map so LOD group mip gen settings change those to these two, these two settings to make sure it displays correctly uh, when you're in the server browser and then you can go ahead and import it like I said though I've already imported this one but I'll go ahead and do it again and then that's it you're gonna save the package it'll probably ask you to if you click it save the package there um, I'm not going to like I said I've already got it in there uh, and then you're done that's it all right on to the next step there's a lot of little tedious steps here but you do this once or twice it'll be it'll be uh, like second nature here so uh, the next step is we need to and you probably already do this if you've made a map before you need to make your config file for your map uh, most people upload these uh, with their map to the uh, Steam Workshop I know a lot of you put a separate download for like servers things like that and you upload this normally with that too so um, if you're not familiar with these I'm going to put a couple examples in the description below uh, I'm in the Green Army Men uh, game type here, so I'm going to be editing that for this particular example, but I'll put a, a vanilla map uh, config file down below so you can download it too. The only thing you're really worried about on here, most of the stuff self-explanatory um, as far as the uh, config stuff goes, the name of your map, you know, how you want it to display uh, when it's in the server browser, or I'm sorry, the loading screen and the server browser. And the main thing we're worried about for this tutorial is this line right here. So 
um, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in right here the reference to your uh, image we just imported. So an easy way to get the actual complete file name of where that is, we find it in here. This is the one I imported earlier. We can right click on it, uh, grab the copy full name to clipboard, and then what you can do, and you'll see in here, I'm going to paste it over here to the side. Um, what I need is the part that's inside the quotes. So if I cut yeah, out the part, the part that's inside, inside the quotes, I toss it in right like here, uh, which, which I've already done. I paste it in, I'm the same thing. thing. I don't need any of this. Uh, but, but this, this is the, the reference you need right here. So the image stays, the part we copied out of the SDK uh, path to this uh, image, it goes right there. Uh, the rest of this, like I said, is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, then we can save it. And um, if you're making a new um, config, like you've just created one, or maybe you've renamed another one, you need to do save as. You need to make sure when you save it, this becomes all files. All right, dot .ini goes on the end. Switch that to all files. Otherwise, it's going to save it as an actual text file, and it will not work. So uh, that's how you would actually save it for the first time or if you were renaming it or something like that. So... Uh, we'll go on to the uh, next step, and that would be uploading the map to the uh, workshop through the SDK front end. All right, as uh, most of you probably know, to launch the SDK front end correctly, you need to do it through Steam now. Um, so we click on it, we get the uh, SDK play, we get these two options, and then we want the front end version. Um, and then in here, uh, this is where we would actually set up, um, and this you can see I've already got this one all set up. I've actually added, you know, I've had, I've got two different game types for this map. So I've got TE and SU, but, you know, normally maybe you would just have TE. Uh, this is where I add my pool props, UPK, which is what, this is the package that contains the server browser image. Um, and this one happens to contain a lot of other things too, but maybe yours just has the server browser image and not a big deal. Uh, that's, uh, that'll work just fine. And then here are, is where I add my config files. Now I have, like I said, two different game types on the map, so I need two different config files. If you only have one, you only need one. Uh, this other stuff you probably won't need to worry about. Set your server browser image, you know how to do all that. Uh, and then once you upload to the workshop. So what this is going to do is place this config on the, the client, the player that's downloading the map from the work, workshop or... Um, I have not confirmed, but I think if they get the workshop or the map through the workshop, uh, redirect the steam redirect off the server they still get this any uh, config file as well so if anybody runs into something different than that please let me know I don't want to be putting out incorrect information but once the steam I'm not going to upload this because if it's it's already been pushed to, to the workshop but once it uh, completes uh, I'll show you the end result all right and here we are back in the server browser and we've got someone running the uh, green army pool party territories map and then we see our uh, custom image here um, so this is what you would see normally and uh, you can set your own like I said um, one other brief thing I want to touch on real quick in the uh, config file I want to point out um, this line right here load map movie um, this is where you set the um, loading movie that plays while the map's loading like once you've actually joined a server that's playing the map or whatever uh, the vanilla maps all have them um, you can set the map uh, loading in, uh, movie here and it's a uh, what they call a bink file um, and I'll put a link below if you are not familiar with that type of uh, program by rad tools where you can uh, edit banks create banks um, it's a dot bik file so, so you, you can, can set it here in the config, config file for your map. The only problem currently is there uh, is no way in the SDK front end to actually upload the uh, loading movie. So you could create one. Uh, one option is you could have a link in the workshop page for the player to download the um, loading screen movie. But that's kind of tedious. And we all know people probably aren't going to do that. So... Um, if you set the movie here and the player doesn't have it on their computer, 
then the menu actually just kind of like when they join the map it just kind of freezes it doesn't affect anything it just looks weird because there's no loading screen so it doesn't load a loading movie so it's just frozen there so uh, maybe in the future that'll be something that the uh, workshop will support uh, the bank movie um, I'll put a link below of one I've actually done uh, just to demonstrate uh, kind of what the possibilities it's kind of cool if you can have your own loading screen so um, that wraps up this tutorial uh, maybe we'll get some more if anyone has any questions as usual please post below um, I'll have a link to the modding discord for rising storm 2 as well uh, thank you